here to be back in the studio this morning, ready to take the whole world on with my beautiful sisters. My name is Omo today, but you all call me Lolo. Blessings. <laughs> my darling that I love so much. She's so afraid you are not going to come. <laughs> Put your hands you sure? with into my hands. Trust. It's a trust exercise. Don't worry, I love you. But I actually miss this girl, Catherine. She really <laughs> must be a date. I know, right? Yes, I actually thought about you mm -mm. in my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Kathy, oh, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Just for the few moments it lasted. Uh -uh. Until I got busy and did some more. No, 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 no. You missed me or you missed tormenting me. Valid, valid. Oh, you know you like to pull back to when, it seems that when you loved as a child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. Potato. Potato, <laughs> just take the compliment. <laughs> hey, and let me melt your heart. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Eh? I, I missed to you. Um, I, miss I you. washed. Uh huh. Never happened to you people. <laughs> hey, Nigeria happened. Lola. I wasn't here, but I was a monitor. Lola. Lola. What I love happened? You. Wow. You look on their faces. They took us by storm. I was open. what? Gumsmacked. Yes, she was. And the blessing she was. I was gumsmacked. <laughs> All right, so if you miss what Lolo is talking about, yesterday I had to give the ladies a little taste of what Nigerian senators went through when it was lights out during Senate plenary. <laughs> and it seems it may have been one outage too many because the federal government, that's the Minister of Power, has threatened to revoke the licenses of power distribution companies over persistent poor power supply across the country really haven't I we heard this song it. and we've seen this dance haven't we seen it all I heard see. it all before lolo you should have a song for this <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get a song for this you're singing <laughs> we need positive songs. Nigeria oh is in a, a state that a we need to carry it a gobsmacking <laughs> space. The thing is, so many Nigerians will not know what gobsmacked is. They won't know how to say it. It, it, it doesn't qualify, but it is. It defines okay. what is going on. Honestly. Yeah. But ladies, Nigeria is Nigerian. It yeah. won't change today. It won't Nigeria change in the next Nigerian. two minutes. Yeah. But I want us to do something, you know, because tomorrow is International Women's Day. We have a fantastic show planned for you. But in thinking about International Women's Day and being on set with these amazing women, I've actually thought back to all the young girls and young children that we were. And I'd like to ask you guys, what advice in one sentence would you give your younger self? Uh, Catherine, let me start with you. Uh, uh, why me? Because you're across the table from me. Oh. <laughs> Say it um, one sentence. If you want to say it in French, say it in French. French. Uh, uh, um, but you said it yesterday. Way. Oui. Uh, uh, like uh, like it's not that big. Like it's not that big. No, c'est pas si grave. Hein? Uh huh. Grave. 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 I'm still my younger self. Where did now come after you? Hello. Answer the question. Answer the question. We got you. Okay, so. Uh, on a serious note, I would say worrying doesn't solve any problem. The, the things that you worried about yesterday, when you look back at it tomorrow, you'll be like, why was I even worried? So calm down. Calm down. F.R. Ballet, calm down. Lolo, yeah. what advice? Uh, honestly, now I know that things are never as hard as you think it is. Mm. Everything passes eventually. So calm down. Uh -uh. Why are they calm? Hello? Yes, the more reason you tell it. people to calm down. Tolo hasn't told us how. Uh -huh. My own is I make the money. <laughs> the men will be waiting. <laughs> Make the money. Like <laughs> but you know what? Because I was thinking about our younger selves, ladies, here are your younger selves. Let me see. Let's go with the first one. Who's no. coming to me first? Yeah! Oh my God! Oh. I love it. Oh. I love it. See Catherine this with her family. She I was planning for you guys. Ah! <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you will know she was going to grow up, someone. Wow. Oh, 
Is that what you That's so touching. Oh, that no blessings. Who's next? You think I left you out? Huh. I went for everybody. Who's Who next? Do I do oh, <laughs> <Miguel. laughs> <laughs> My pretty child. Ah, oh, she was. What else do we have for blessings? Let's see that, yeah. guys. I planned for you guys today. Think of that as my younger self for internet. Oh, 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 blessings you find in Nobby today. Please always no, be fine. You be fine for that. Uh, That's Queen B right there. Oh, you guys, wait. wait. You won't believe this next one. He said, nice. Lola. You know, I reached out to her. Wow. Ara. Ara. I went deep. Let's ah. see the picture. No. Out to Ara. No, I said I went deep. This one, oh, Lulu. Oh, this is the old. Can I see Lola's oh reaction, please? Can, I see, can we take this in? This is so. Ah. Ah. And of course, I won't leave myself out. But there's still one Lola. Lola went in. Uh, Lola in Lola, law school. Again. In law school. I Lola in law school. Take on the world. Oh, I'm my telling you. Oh, girl. All right, one more. Let me show you my baby. I see oh, our Lola. Oh, my God. She's grown up to be a pretty girl. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh. I have to dig deep to baby picture. No, this is wicked, Tolu. Looking like I wanted oh. to fight the oh. world. Oh. 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 You, you literally look like Pop Pop. I think yes, you actually look like Pop Pop. Oh, my God. Looking so like cute. I want to box the world. See, right here, I see my father's face. Oh, this is Coco. Oh, my, Bala. No. oh my God. This, so is this, is oh my Bala. this is me. Oh my this, Bala. Is this is Coco. This is me. Oh, oh my Coco. God. You couldn't tell me in my hat, in my hat and whatever that I was not fly. Hey, you cannot no, no. tell me I was not that fly. Is, that is. Oh. It's fly. Oh, no, it's Coco ah. now. Ah. Ah. Wow. Honestly, I love wow. the evolution. Ah, it's so heartwarming to be able to see how we all ah. evolve. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, that group all had to happen. I almost cried just now. I said, no. I said I dug deep. Oh. Thank you so you much know. to our producers, I Cynthia know. and Peculiar in particular. Thank We've been working on this project for like a month now. Oh, my God. Doing deep dive investigation. I reached out to your brother, but he couldn't find your baby pictures. I yes. said I went deep. Yeah. Wow. So oh. I was just out there. Oh, my, yes. my God. <laughs> No, mine is hard to oh, find. Oh, Lord. Hard. But you know, when I think I about it, I know I've made my mistakes. Yeah. I've done my rights, done my wrongs. I've had my experiences. There's not a lot we could change in any of it. But yeah. when I look back at the young girl who had a dream and the yes. woman that's here now, I'm absolutely grateful. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm absolutely yes. grateful. Yeah, the it. trajectory of our lives. I, I've always been very enamored uh, by, <laughs> thank you for the word. <laughs> By Greek mythology. Mm. You know, in Greek mythology, they said there are some people called fate. Yes. And they weave the tapestry of our lives. Our lives, yeah. You know, sometimes you come in colors, sometimes you come in gray, sometimes you come, you know, in different things. But whatever season you yeah. find yourself, just know that it's a season. All right, come on. Oh, I know, like, it's I just know. like, um, you know, know, growing up, sometimes yeah. you don't, you literally don't know what you're oh, yeah, going right. to become. Yeah. I mean, some of those pictures were oh, like... Oh, she's going to... I'm oh, a sympathy crier. Oh. <laughs> Catherine's eyes are watering. Okay. Some of those pictures were like Please. my worst moments because oh. like oh. Um, Your dad. the one where it was four of us, I, I lost my dad not too long ago and yeah. I almost lost my mom too. It was really hard. So I felt like I... I mean, feeling like you would not become anything. Like you, you mm. literally don't know what your life is going to be like, but I'm sitting here looking at my younger. I actually have a younger self. <laughs> you yeah. have a younger self. Yeah. Oh my God. You have a younger <laughs> self. And I can Ooh. remember when Blessings joined us. Blessings has, you've come a long way. Yeah. We've had our, yeah. you know, I've always stood with you. Really? And I remember, and Blessings has grown. Okay, see, where well, I'm sympathy crying. <laughs> you cry around me, I start crying too. I Captain, do not you want to say it. anything before we go on a break. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Oh. I just don't want to cherish you. I don't know why this happened. I didn't even see it coming. Oh, I swear. I, yeah. Aww. All right. Blessings, you're supposed to take us on a break. I yeah. can't. Break us. <laughs> you to help me. Thank you. Thank make you. Up. Um, to lose seriously, um, thank you for reminding us just uh, how strong, bold, courageous, powerful we are. Because sometimes we have a tendency to forget. Yes. And Tolu does that in the quietest. You know, I always say, I always say, Tolu, don't ask me how I am. 
Yeah. Because once I see her coming, I'm going the other way because Tulu just has a way. She doesn't talk a lot, but she just, you know. So before it gets too emotional, because I know more. I don't break out of it. Oh. Let's take <laughs> I always say this thing when we start the show, believe me when I say this is not how we planned it. <laughs> but let's take a quick break. When we return, we've got the self-proclaimed biggest food critic in Nigeria and Minister of African Food Tourism leading an interesting conversation about food tourism and the African palate. Stick around. Jessie returns. Welcome back to Jasiri. Remember, we're live on our social media platforms. So if you're on the move, you cannot watch us on DSTV 422 or Star Times 274. You can still be part of the conversation on X, Facebook, and Instagram. Just to make sure to use the hashtag Jasiri. That way, we we'll know you're watching. They just like my beautiful face. I, and know. I, know. <laughs> I didn't even know why Catherine was romanticizing her. Ah. Oh, your speech I thought band. you said you missed her. What's wrong with you? No, she, she already together. said that oh, it was just I for know that moment. Okay, okay. She we just had a moment. very touching moment. I know. Okay. But the man is in the studio. <laughs> so Catherine is misbehaving. <laughs> so nothing could have prepared Nigeria for our special guest this morning. He is unapologetically about proclaiming himself to be the biggest food and wine critic in Nigeria and has grown a loyal fan base on social media, touring high-end restaurants and roadside bookers alike. And of course, putting Nigerian cuisine on the map. Joining us today on Jazz Series, a man of cultured taste with a thing for cigars and wine. Okweyemi Famaki, welcome to Jazz Series. I was the, the, like, the first time I heard him talk, I, I was like, I like this voice, but I hope he's not for false talking the throat or something. <laughs> but then he kept saying, I'm like, oh, he has a good voice. It's natural. Yeah. It's natural. <laughs> it is. Oh, I'm so such so a so fan. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Oh, I'm yeah. fan of everybody. Like, love into me and they have beards and pink Oh, oh that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. We all have to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're going to be giggling. Oh, I would be giggling, but I'll be okay. I like the feminine energy, though. Oh, you're, you're blessed. Know, that's one thing you so cannot yeah. miss on yeah. this show. Yeah. We have a close. Too. We have a surprise for him, right? <laughs> ah! Continue. Earlier on in the show, we took a trip down memory lane, guys. We mm -hmm. asked ourselves what we t uh, ask or tell our younger selves. Now, I found an old blog post of you, way back from 2014. Mm -hmm. You shared 20 things about you. First of all, mm -hmm. what happened to ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love you! I love you! That's AI. That's AI. Is that you? Like, like, yes, oh my it's God. you. Oh, God. What, what happened to the hair? Exactly. Yeah. The hair went from here to here. What happened to the hair? I, don't, I just... He transferred it. I do not have beards there. <laughs> so, like, you know, I give my beards more... Attention, attention now. Attention, so, yeah. Lola is holding herself from touching the beard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's holding herself. But anyway, you know, some of the things you said, you like food a lot, Love. and that obviously hasn't changed. Yeah. Well, twinning on that, <laughs> and that you can make pizza and creme brulee. I'm, I'm a very good cook, by the way. I don't Did you hear about in the 20 things uh, said about himself? And you said you are addicted to more than most women. Yeah. Wow. And you said you are addicted to cookies, and I'm you are addicted though. to fair girl. <laughs> <laughs> you still like fair girl? It's it a switch now. I've better. Seen the light. So is it? Oh, the light is in the darkness. No colorism, uh -huh. but I've seen the light. That's better. Right. Cookies, not your favorite cookie. And you cookie. prefer to stay Chocolate indoors chip. and to eat while watching movies. That's it, chill. That has changed. That has changed. So what do you like to do now? Yeah. So what does go outdoors and eat? I'm not being. People will use the word that is being cocky. I like to do what I want to do. So okay. like... It changed from mood to mood, season Like, we're just in, I'm outside, and they mentioned coffee, and I'm like, you know what, after the show, I'll go to a restaurant to just have coffee, and I didn't plan that, like, 10 minutes ago. They're very wow. spontaneous. So I'm on a, if I can afford it, let me just run it. I so, like the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you said you have no idea what you want to be in the future, but you want to be rich with three kids. Wow. So where are we on that right now? Wow. Well. Still three kids. <laughs> Still three kids. We, we went there yeah, now. We went to <laughs> get down. In. Trust me, today, you're not the only person who was surprised. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> like, well, yeah. She, she did yeah. it for all of us. It's still me, but, like... Like what? The Can we put side by side? Yeah, mm. still, uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, I'm a movie uh, junkie for the like? past six days. I've seen at least I how many movies, movies anymore. Was that? At the time. Wow. This is at the, at the time. Wow. Okay, okay. I mean, your entire name. 
Yeah. Why are you going to have a gushing show or <laughs> a show? Why are you guys doing your homework, by the way? We did. That's what we do. Thank you. So, the topic where we want to talk with you to... You did this. This is our most... This is the bougiest. I like the way she did the intro, though. You made her stutter. I like the way she did it. You made Tony stutter. But we need to investigate you. Ah. Mr. Baloga, I hope you're not watching the show. on our focus? <laughs> We're talking food for <laughs> That's why I called I was going to ask the question based on I said, mm, And exploring the African palate. So, yes. okay, I mean, in terms of that, let's talk about how you got into this, this area of becoming Nigeria's biggest food and wine critic. What is it about African food for, uh, for you that, that needs to be explored, appreciated, and, of course, put out there for everyone to see? Um, so this was like... It was just me catching crews, me just doing what I loved doing, and you know, things falling in place. Like when I wrote that, I thought I'll be a journalist. Oh. Yeah, because I studied mass communication in university. I'm doing employee. journalism. Oh my God. So, <laughs> Lolo. So Put yourself thought, together. I thought that would be my line of work, and mm -hmm. you know, I used to like, journal about food where I work, Pulse or NG. That was like my first oh. job, and I was just doing it, doing it, doing it, and growing a loyal audience. I wasn't trying to sell to anybody. I did not know that influencers existed. So I guess, you know. Things fell into place. What was the question again? Sorry. <laughs> Why does African ne food need to be explored, appreciated, um, and put out there? So mo most Nigerians, I'll use Nigerians because mm -hmm. I can't speak for them. Most Nigerians don't know about Nigerian food like that. Mm -hmm. Let me just prove my point. Can you call one dish from Bayosa State? I can call it a regional dish, but not a state. Dish. Can you call one dish from Bayosa State? But I know what have periwinkle and fish inside. Can you call one dish from Bayelsa? Why Bayelsa? Bayelsa delicacy. Is it Nigerian? Bayelsa oh, yeah, delicacy. You know, you're, you're from Kogi? Yes. Can you call one dish from Benue State? You guys are neighbors. A soup. Can we share? Yeah? Can we no, share a, a soup. dish? I honestly don't. Now, can you call five pastas? Excuse yeah. me, yes. Exactly. Uh, See the way she flexed with yeah. her knowledge <laughs> of Italian dishes. Mm. So, like, so most Nigerians, like, we I'm like, more. let me educate them and expose them <laughs> to Nigerian food and mm. other African dishes. So that's like why I do what I do, because most Nigerians don't know and, you know, they, they kind of look down on Nigerian dishes and they celebrate their knowledge and them experiencing other dishes. I agree. Even Nigerian chefs too, like I haven't even speak with them. Most Nigerian chefs, when they are flexing and showing their creativity, they focus more on, you know, the Afrofusion, turning pasta, you know, adding yaji or zobo to it's it. Mm. And they don't you know, elevate Nigerian dishes. Like, mm -hmm. if you're making puff puff akara, mm -hmm. let the akara be akara, but pro max the akara. Mm -hmm. Don't make Say me... Pro yeah, pro max. Don't give me an akara burger. Uh -uh. A, a no, burger is not... Down first. Yeah. Like, when you say pro max, you got me a pro max. <laughs> yeah, like pro max it. <laughs> let it be what it is. So, uh, augment but, it. Like, but elevate it. Elevate yeah. it. With what? Like, there's one guy in UK recently, like, he did, you know, akara... With pro like he double whipped it so it was more airy. Okay. He added like a pepper sauce, like one like an a sauce. Yeah. Then he added prawns to it. That's simple. But <laughs> if your grandma eats the akara, she will know she's eating akara. And she'll not say, What is this? Waiting me this is akara mm -hmm. but pro max. Mm -hmm. But most Nigerian chefs though, maybe do like a akara burger or something. Burger is not a Nigerian dish. Mm -hmm. yeah. They will maybe akara pasta or something. They will marry two different cultures. Yeah. And I don't I mean, it is nice, yeah. but Nigerian food will not blow if we are marrying it with, you know, Pouring, yeah. ramen, mm -hmm. suya ramen. Ramen yeah. is not Nigerian, yeah. you yeah. get. So let's leave a profusion and pro max Nigerian dishes. I think. I like that. Pro max. Well, uh, talking about um, global phenomenon, African cuisine, Nigerian food. Nigerian foods have trended recently. Everyone's been talking about Ghana. You listen to Fufu and Egusi. Yes. And Jolo. And Jolo. And Jolo. And we don't And they even said our Fanta is different. Our Fanta tastes nice. said it's sweeter. Everything is going viral. So what do you think, or why do you think now Nigerian food has taken center stage and, and has been widely accepted? I would strongly disagree with that statement. Oh. Strongly. Oh, really? So mm -hmm. except Fufu and Egusi. <laughs> and, uh, and Jolo fries. Which other Nigerian food? I've taken more center stage. I've seen some foreign people making, but well, pop-off is, I wouldn't say it's Nigerian because everybody, everybody makes a variation of it. Akara. Moi Moi. Akara she is in Brazil. Ghanaians, they have Akara. Moi Moi. Moi Moi. Moi Moi. So, so like because them. one or two, you know, chefs and food bloggers, you know, made it for numbers because those abroad know that if they make a Nigerian food because of numbers, they'll get it. It doesn't really mean it's trending. It just wow. means they want, same way I know, if I do Indian reactions, 
because India has numbers. Oh. Mm. I will yeah. get numbers. It doesn't really mean Indian food is popping in, you know, in Nigeria. So that's the numbers thing. So I, I, on the flip side of that, I want to ask about like cultural appropriation because we see it, music, fashion, we've had that. But now with food, because I remember one day I saw somebody do Amala. Mm -hmm. They rolled it, it was very nice. Mm -hmm. Then they did a, a swipe of beggary. Then they did a dollop of oh, Iwedu. Oh, yeah, and I'm looking yeah. at and then they did the Inkonwe around. They sliced it very yeah. nicely. And it, it, it takes on the look of what you expect at, you know, high-end restaurants. But it sort of loses, maybe is it the soul or the authenticity? authenticity. Are yeah. we, should we be concerned? Because mm -hmm. these guys have ways of ending up doing our things better than we do it sometimes. Yeah. Ah. I don't think Gordon Ramsay can make Amalag Bagheer and Iwedu better than an Ibadan woman. With but his audience arms. is not... Butter. His yeah. audience is going, yeah. he'll tell you it's a Nigerian yeah. dish versus uh, an, an English or British yeah. audience. So, um, for appropriation, so probably the person was like a content creator and the person is expressing themselves. I can't really like police a self trained chef in their house playing with Tamala. Mm. You get, and also, so if Italians saw what we call pasta, ah. they will slap us, and that is appropriation. Yeah. Yeah. So, we can't lay claim to yes, any, okay, yes, we own Amala, but. If another country, you know, like Akarache now, Akaraje in Brazil came from Nigeria, but in Brazil it has a different from. So did they appropriate it or did the food just travel and evolve? Jollof rice that we lay claim to yeah. is from Senegal. Senegal. Yeah. So it's like them being angry that Nigeria appropriated our jollof rice or Ghana and like mm. if there's jollof rice talk. It's always Nigeria and Ghana. Ghana, yeah. Even the people who own it. <laughs> and the owners. Meanwhile, there's a the Senegalism. Yeah. yeah. The owners, yeah. 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 Them and Gambia. Mm. You also, know, appropriation is not... Mm. Yeah. It's not part of the conversation. You know, yeah. for me, it's food. Uh, food with me comes with culture. You know, it's like a heritage for us as a people. And I know that in Nigeria, we do have culture spread across. What would you say you're found in food across Africa or across Nigeria, mm -hmm. you know, that you say we have one thing in common or, you know, something that binds us, especially when it comes to food. There are a lot of, like, swallows, for example. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, so, what we think is Nigerian is actually West African. Wow. Like, Egusi now, you know, mm -hmm. my Igbo brothers are claiming that they own it. Ghana has it, Agushi. So, like, mm -hmm. some of these things that we think, oh, is exclusive to us mm -hmm. is, you know, West African and many things. Nigerians don't know, but many dishes we have are less than 200 years old, like they are new. Mm -hmm. Like cassava now, Eba, was brought by the Portuguese, meaning our great, great, great four times grandfathers did not eat Eba. Wow. So many things that we think, oh, you know, they are old, and like most Igbo dishes are post Civil War dishes. And like, yes, because of rations. And pre Civil yeah. War, many Igbo dishes, you know, did not exist the way they do now. Mm -hmm. They were eaten differently. So, you know, food is evolving. So I'm like, sometimes Nigerians allow food to evolve, just because your grandma in the village. Makes I go see this way. Let's the food evolve. Hey, but but, but okay, I beg to differ. Yeah. I have seen you kick against mm -hmm. the blenders. blenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, hates it. Once you pull a blender out <laughs> and you pull another one, you say, eh, eh. <laughs> blenders. <laughs> but so, that I would say that some of them are actually trying to recreate or yeah. just re engineer what is normal. I've seen people make. Like, like this one. <laughs> no, it's not just plantain swallow. That's plantain swallow. Plantain swallow. Like, no, why? Like, please, the question, why? So, yeah, but plantain swallow <laughs> is relatively new, at least to me. Growing up, I did not really see yes, many plantain I swallow. Yeah. I think it's really health-based in There's nobody kicking against plantain swallow now. That's yeah. like food evolving. What is this? <laughs> This is innovation. <laughs> innovation for what? I'm about to go. Now that they're in Sapa, people know that. Know. that what if it has nutritional value? value. What if it has But we so never just have. Just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. Uh, uh, she be somebody started making cake. With, with uh, uh, binders, she had to put something. She had to put like a, uh, less, like a thickness. It's just like less. I don't like. I know everybody votes for it, but I will not eat swallow. I will not eat oats. A swallow. swallow. I, mean, I hate it. So for like health, so like those who eat old swallows are, you know, those who in fit farm, and I cannot hold them. If maybe your blood sugar is too high, you need this and that. Hey, but do you know that's what I was saying. There are many misconceptions about food. food. The fact that you are <laughs> eating yeah. old swallow yeah. does not mean that you are lowering your calories. A lot of people do not even know. It's just like people that tell me smoothie is healthy. The amount of calories you get from drinking a smoothie. Hey, I, I took smoothies. From eating fruits. <laughs> 
I said, I've never seen Lolo is getting into it. I've never, it's been a while. I've seen Lolo, you're passionate, but <coughs> I love this. I just haven't started, <laughs> with, I, I I haven't started interacting with I know. I haven't started interacting with food the way Okwe would. Maybe mm -hmm. you'll disciple me. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, let's come to something else. So you asked all of us questions about the food from different states in Nigeria. Yeah. I may not have, I can, I may not have been able to. From I'm a go oh, 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 your state. Oh, your state. Oh, yeah, you know your food. Yes, I know my food. We don't Which play food? Tell us. I, I know, know, I even know Ghana actually. food because so many go much of people in Ghana. Have you ever eaten Dokunu? Ice cream cake. I've eh? eaten Dokunu. Oh, I'm not eating Ghana <laughs> too. <before. laughs> I will make it for you and bring it. But no, I, I, I think, as I honestly, was, just leave, I think, just leave this them. Let me give them a camera. Can I ask my question now? Okay. But I'm adventurous. I've eaten monitor lizard, frog uh, no, legs. No, 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 no. Eating what? Yes. Monitor lizard. I did not know I was eating it. At oh, the time. no. It's illegal eating bushmeat. It was Nigeria. not my fault. I said I did not know at you the said, time. Let me not cast you on camera. <laughs> I did not know at the time. <laughs> they did it like stock fish. They wrapped it too and then they tied it. I was like, ah, can you do much? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. It could not come back out. But anyway, <laughs> in terms of, okay, fine, we don't know food from different states and regions, but are we even adventurous? Do you see Nigerians as being even willing to expand their palates? I mean, I can't generalize, but there's like a new age of mostly Gen-Zs and millennials that are willing to try different dishes. But the thing is that when they are trying, they try more of the European, American, oh, let's try creamy pasta. Like, yeah. 10 years ago, it wasn't a thing. It was spaghetti and macaroni okay. that we ate. But now, you know, okay. creamy pasta, foam yeah. pasta. And there's less incentive. That, like, there's less ginger for them to try Nigerian food. Some do. But if we're generalizing, they are willing to try more international dishes okay. than Nigerian dishes. And Nigerian, Nigerian food is... The best region of food is South-South. There have been yeah. a lot of dishes that people don't know about. Yeah. Fisherman so, soup. So yeah. the thing is, like, uh, uh, you, you, have mentioned, <laughs> you have mentioned food um, evolving, right? Yes. And people trying out new things, trying to reinvent. But I think that's a bit of a contrast if we're talking about passing down. Because, I mean, then we hear about, oh, my mom's recipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so, yeah. like, there's just something special about that traditional dish. But if people want to reinvent it, mm -hmm. how does that now affect the culture because mm. 10 years five years down the line it's like oh my mom had a recipe but you know we've added a little bit of spice to it added the italian recipe yeah. and, and things like that. so it's kind of lost in transit mm. so even if we're gatekeeping and we're trying to stick to the original recipe with or without our consent food would evolve but mine is just it's sticking like it's having its essence like for example now if maybe our ancestors ate a foyero with fish and you know you now add meat to it. Mm -hmm. It is still a foriro. But if you are making an a foriro cake, a foriro, but like it has lost the a foriro essence. So food would always evolve. But this is how they made it. Then you now turn it to cake up and cake. Or oh, you blend it. Uh -huh. So like <laughs> so, and no. let it you know have its essence. It would evolve with or without us. If maybe you don't eat fish and you eat meat, you would add meat and that's in your you know, recipe. Okay, I would go because I wanted to piggy tail on what she said. Yeah. I'm concerned about Africans and recipes. Okay. Because most of the time, we do not really have recipes. Written out. With, yeah. We just what, know what, how to make things. Like now, to be able to... My mother made atadidi, and I cannot even explain to you how <laughs> atadidi is in my own house. Or even... Do you have measurements? Was there table those, that's where I'm teaspoon. going. That is this something we need to begin to culture as Africans, to be able to stick to recipes? Like, uh, Oyibona, we can make cake because recipes are passed down. But we seem to be losing that essence in Africa mm. because nobody tells you one teaspoon of salt to this amount of veggie. So that means every time we cook <laughs> the same eforiro you spoke about, yeah. the taste differ because the recipes and the... Is this something we can do better so, on? Because they'll say, Africa, you sprinkle the salt until your ancestors taste tough. <laughs> so um, I hear you, but things are changing. Like there are food bloggers, those who cook, they are a kitchen lover, if it's kitchen. So they are the ones now, the food bloggers are cooked, they are like they're documenting it. Mm -hmm. So in 50 years time now on their YouTube page, one, maybe Jen, whatever, Jen XXY, who watch the video and it is documented. So it is being done as we speak. Yeah, yeah so like it's already happening. Then there are food historians too. There's Kitchen Butterfly who goes to different states and like does food history and why food is the way it is. Like for example, I think it was true that we knew that the Igbos, like stockfish was imported and you know why it was so there's the yeah. recipe part yeah. and there's the why 
do these people eat this food and the reason so it is being done in real time and mm -hmm. i think in real time nigeria food is evolving but since we're experiencing it we cannot really tell okay right. so I, I want to ask this in terms of tourism the food tourism mm -hmm. part of this because if you say you're going to paris you'll list a few things <laughs> no, no, I do you want to do something like a creme brulee you want mm -hmm. to do a baguette Paris street, uh, street food, Vietnam is known for its street food, many parts of Asia. But if you ask people to like really talk about street food or like food tourism around Nigeria, it's missing. So in all of your travels and tourism that you've gone, give us like three or four places that the street food is popping. Like these are the places that if we package it as food tourism, this is a food tour. Come and experience the taste and flavors of Nigeria. These are like your top three, four destinations. Mm. Um, obviously Lagos because it's a cocktail of different cultures. Yeah. So Lagos will be there. Then in the north, Kaduna. I think the mm. best street food for varieties. So in Lagos, if you want to experience food, it's mostly in restaurants. Then maybe some bookers. But Kaduna, like they have like whole streets where it is just like food mm. I can buy and eat yeah. immediately. Kaduna for me for street food. Number one is Kaduna. Like what kind of food? Mm. Bro, yeah. I have forgotten. I know the names, but to recall them. No problem. Were different but northern dishes. Yeah. Yeah. There was this mm, Danwake I, I had. So Nigerian food doesn't look very appealing. So that's yeah. the problem we had. Yeah. Danwake to eat it. Even me that I knew what it was, but to eat it, I had to like. Come on, Jay, 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 Jay. Jay. <laughs> Northern cuisine has never appealed to me like that. I think much. it's a visual aspect, as he's mentioning. Yeah. Okay, visual, so yeah. Lagos, Kaduna, where? Else? Lagos, Kaduna, then for street. We don't really have. A big street food culture like that, it, like where in the evening, yes, but mm. wait, you can just go out and this whole this whole area, you can. Mm. I, I think Yaba has, um, it, has um, Sabu Yaba has, mm. but it's not like a big These deal. These are all yeah. the spaces you mentioned that on it's the more the restaurants main than okay. than street Island. food. Lagos Island. Island. So if you remove the street Lagos food from it okay. and you're going on a tour around Nigeria, where are the hot oh, no, no, Lagos, um, Abuja, Potakot in the south south. Mm -hmm. But I got the shots for me, number one. Well, you heard that pium pium. Pium pium, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Very wrinkle. Okay. Follow him. I saw it because when I heard the sound. Matching, matching ground. Uh, yeah. Matching ground, yeah. yeah. yeah that was good leg. With, good leg. You know, very wrinkle and quabi mix. It's really, really nice. Uh, so I've Potakot, never had number it. One. I'll say Biosa too, but insecurity and all. I love the South. I'm Yoruba, but I love the South South. I like it. We Yoruba girls. Okwe is lost to us. We so never married him back then. Who said? How come you've not even mentioned, um, um, not even mentioned um, eth ethnic food or, or you know? I mean, of, so uh, they like they have quality but not quantity. Oh. So like, except afang, let me after like four different dishes. Mm -hmm. Like afang, edi kan ekon. It's not more than there's five. There's yam. There's the wura bia now. There's the wura bia. I'm guessing you're from that <laughs> region. <laughs> so you like it? We can't hear you. There's a pan kuko ekon. There's a pan kuko, there's a yanek pan, there's abba, there's a fere di kanikom, there's a eko di dia uko alpha. sound like you're worshipping God? No, but I'm just saying that because that's how we talk about our food. You understand? So the ones that have gone... Soup, there is a otong, a fere otong. The mishama soup is not that, you know, you put okra in your mishama, it's not, it's not sweet. No, you don't want to take care of this mishama soup and then there's a fere otong. Okay. Which is this, the okra one. I've been to your Why are you losing your voice? No, <laughs> I don't know, you've been on low since I first came here. I don't understand. No, no, you're the one who has a meeting. Thank no, oh, I never lie. Uh, 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 I never well, lie. I'm up from... We have a guest. Let us know what I So, okay. see, what I was trying to say was that, you know, the people mention the ethics and the BBs. When for you say best South soups, South, South, yes. For, for soups and for... But the number is not... So, the ones that have gone mainstream, okay. that, like the nuts now, they have a lot of soups. Mm. But do we like the soups? Yeah, I heard they had desserts too. They do, no, for like sweets, they are the best. Sweet and drinks in Nigeria, nobody touches them. I was really, really? I was Zobo, yeah. Tiger Nut, all these, Babadudu and everything. Yeah. It's Mixing them. it. Not so. It, it's them. No, so yeah. for drinks, yeah, nobody is touching them. I mean, how many drinks do Yorubas and Igbos have? Mm. I don't even think drink it. Moroku too. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I've only heard the name. I, I think from exactly. this conversation, exactly. yeah. I'm, I'm seeing the so, need for the younger generation to explore more because I'm honestly lost, right? In this I don't most of you know she doesn't I cook. I, I you like. I'm just foodie though. Like, do you eat in restaurants? Fancy Maybe. food, I mean. The yeah. Maybe when I'm on a date or something. The Smiths or Kaiser. And it's like, <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> Okay, so okay, I mean, my final question because we have to have our next segment. I'm going to get myself for. I don't want to go. We're not letting you 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 go.
But my final question, we, we know how things are right now. Yeah. And the situations are bad. And some of our food, our soups in particular, if you really want to eat the soup well, the money finish them. Yeah. 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 It's money. But money, everybody's looking, I can't put Perry Winkle, I can't do stockfish, Malaysia, dry fish, you know? <laughs> and you say, you're, you're choosing. So in terms yeah. of what you've seen and you've heard in recent times from um, traveling around, how has the current economic situation affected food choices and even consumption? Well, Nigeria is going through it, though. This might be the worst year for Nigeria, like for businesses, but mostly restaurant businesses. Because yeah. Valentine's Day, like before, as a last year and other years, even the bad restaurants that sold trash, they were packed on Valentine's Day. This year, like, no, nowhere was like full. So, I mean, I'm observing, I can't give you an answer, but things are bad. I, I bought noodles, a popular brand, mm. super packed for 550. Yeah, ah, we heard yeah. the ranting. Yeah. I can afford it, oh, but... Uh, <laughs> but uh, five I quindo, know. Mm. 550, I don't know. So My things children, are bad. we've made Indomie a luxurious food. They eat it only for any Now, finding days. alternatives now, okay. so... So, yeah. what, so what are the alternatives you see? Yeah. It's based on your budget, though. Like, before I used to do English breakfast. Uh -huh. Like, but now, you know, I do, you know, Akara, a Nigerian, Nigerian <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> so, that's... Based on your pockets, find out how to put Yeah. But things are bad. Yeah. Things things are bad. Even with me, I feel like... Uh, yeah. But okay, a lot of people wonder, because mm -hmm. you do food tourism, and I know that maybe occasionally I've seen you being sponsored. No, just so once, people so want ever. to know, ever, just what once. do you do wow. for your day job? Or are you just born rich? Are your parents <laughs> rich? Are you rich? Where is this wealth that you draw from so that I can be part of your tribe? We get your question. Well, so, so how do I make money? Okay. <laughs> um, adverts, promotions, so like some food apps, like most food apps in Nigeria, when, when they start, the first person they reach out to for adverts is, is usually me. And I'm not, one, one job is okay to last me for like a month. Uh, okay. and like on I the need to rethink this journalism. On, Can we go on this eating I'm journey? I'm a journalist. <laughs> No. His voice no. is I can't I can't go on. I journalism. You will defend yourself doing commercial. We need to go on a quick break right now. What <laughs> topics is coming up? And Okoyemi is staying with us. Yes. He's a journalist. He's a food journalist. <laughs> Let me <be> back. This is a solid mask. Now, welcome back to Jassiri. It's time for your favorite segment of the show. Catherine, I know you want to do your little dance. <laughs> Because it's time for Hot Topics. <laughs> so, ladies, picture this. Hmm. A chance meeting at the mall. Mm -hmm. A heartfelt exchange between old friends. And then, out of nowhere, a sudden accusation of rudeness. Uh-uh. We need to watch it. Okay. Okay, so oh, this happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. I go for a meeting and I finish my meeting. I come out, I bump into someone that I'm acquainted with, um, and then we're having a conversation. And then I hear someone just say, Captain Quest, and I turn around and I see this well, he's no longer a kid, right? But he used to be like really, really young. I mean I saw last time I saw him was about a decade ago or something. And he just runs, apparently he worked there, so he just runs right up to me and then we, you know, get into this big hug and then I'm like, have you been, As, what, you know, what's going on? And then he's like, Captain Quest, it's so good to see you, it's been ages, I'm so proud of what you're, what, what you're doing, how much you've achieved, you're, you know, all of that, all of that. And then the lady that I'm with just stops him right there and she's like, well, hold up, don't be rude. So I'm confused, he's confused, you know, and then I, we stop and then he looks like he's about to just fall apart. And she says, you don't tell someone who's older than you. By the way, she's older than me, you understand. Um, so she says, you don't tell someone who's older than you that you're proud of them. It's disrespectful. And she says, no, you say that you're inspired by them. And I'm a bit... Am I the only one who... I... So, you know, he, well, he became a bit awkward for the, for the guy. You know, he, he exchanged numbers, he left. And then I tell her that, oh, I actually don't think that was rude because, you know, I, I have a lot of younger friends and they tell me that. Wow. Even though, even but though, even <laughs> after that though, hey, it's a matter of semantics. You know, sometimes we forget that English is not really our language. And how people can, you know, 
process. You can actually say you're inspired by someone, and you can also be proud of I can someone. be proud of you and not be inspired by you. Exactly. That's exactly. So, what, I, so I can't tell my mom I'm proud of her? What is wrong with my people? My daughter says, mommy, I'm proud of you every day. She's my child. I want to hear what okay. me and sister okay. say. Help okay. us. You're more about in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I can be rude sometimes, but just open the door for me. If you don't open the door for me, I will not be rude. But once you open the door, I'll go. Like, I wish I was that guy. And I would have a back and forth with that woman. That, can you explain how, you know, and I'll let I'll her I'll first start by telling her, I'm proud of you, ma. Yes. <laughs> I let the woman know way. that just because you are older doesn't necessarily mean you are wiser. wiser. And your truth and my truth is different. And if she keeps, you know, arguing, I'll tell him, okay, I'm proud of you. What would you do about it? But that's the thing. So if you bring it, I will never start trouble. Mm -hmm. But if you bring it to me, we we're going to dance. <laughs> like, I'm talking to my friend and she brought trouble. I did not start it. So if I want to go and fight, I just call up. No, <laughs> me, I'll call my, I'll call my dad. Right. 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 But wait, let, let's come back to this thing because yes. we, our society, culture, yes, respect, yes, yes, respect yes, yes, elders. Yes. What a what a old man sees standing up, a young I'll be sitting down, a they child. Do, I have to draw like a drone to look for get. Uh -huh. right. I like that. I'm not like a drone. No. I like that. But are we? I think I should. Are we losing respect or it's just that it's changing? It's changing context, actually. It's context. It's you see, this context. Is, my problem is we've had this conversation before and mm -hmm. we said because children are raised not to ask questions, mm -hmm. if the woman knows that I have the right to ask you, why did you say that? And she, of course, she has no, I don't think that she has any valid explanation as to why I cannot tell someone older than me that I'm proud of him. She would watch what she says. But because we're always, oh, this woman has said this. Oh, really? Is that how it is? I'm so sorry, ma. I would never yeah. say that again. Yeah, if I will question you yeah. and you know that, you will watch what you say to me. But do you know, I think we all are missing a part. Also, this conversation okay. was between Ibrahim and, and somebody. Why is she putting in? Exactly. Yeah, because her business see, in this conversation. No, I mean, if she's a friend of Ibrahim, also too. Uh, so it depends. If she says, I don't like being told I'm proud, I think it's valid. To no. him, not to the person who said it. It's not her business. It's not, it's not said to her. No, hold on. The intent behind the words matters more than the words themselves. Listen, for me, in this context, if the young man meant it sincerely, why are we on his parade? That's one. Number two, you know we are very protective as women. Maybe you feel as if, why will you go and disturb his staff? What do you they protect? I did you say, I did you say, Tuesday of course. So you look, now look and say, why are you going to disturb this our star who just finished having a productive meeting with us? Why are you disturbing? Go away from there. You don't know he's rude. He's not. Short of saying he's not your mate. Hey, almost you sounded like, like that. Of saying he's not your mate. It took me a while yeah. to, not a, a long while, but I've realized that in Nigeria we're so big on respect. Mm -hmm. No, I, I am know. one person that everybody knows. Mm -hmm. You don't call me madam. I don't want you to say ma'am. I don't want any of those M M things. I'm mother to my children. Okay. I'm not mother to Akwe. You can say Lolo, which is my nickname. Oh, you can actually say Miss and Miss Adebo uh, did it. If but you even know it's you that they were calling. But <laughs> no, but when people say Ma, Mommy, I don't answer because really? I'm not your mother. But in Nigeria, people seem to think that, oh, it's respect mm, to when I call Kathy mommy. mommy. But, but is it not I even like performative? It. And I think that's what we all tend to miss. Nigerians, they can mar you and sigh you to death and still disrespect you. Oh, even yeah. in that, <laughs> good afternoon, Ma. ma. You're you back again, Ma. ma. <laughs> it's so nice to see you, Ma. Is, ma, stupid girl, is, that, ma. is that what you want to so, hear? I think the man so well. is not my respecting. Like, it's just our lingo now. Like, yeah. if someone's older than me now, I don't need to respect you to call mm -hmm. you ma. I'm just used to saying ma mm -hmm. or sir yeah. to those who I feel, you know, are older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, context matters too. Context right. matters. So there's that, but there's also the case of you telling someone else what to say to someone else. That, I, I keep coming back to that. If the conversation yeah. is not, it has, if you're yeah. not comfortable, then maybe just branch this side and walk away. <laughs> you know? Just branch. like. I don't know. Or address Ibrahim separately. Like I wish it was Misha. Ah. Uh, I would have. You know, honestly, for Ibrahim to come out, you could see on his face yes. the incredulousness of, of the happening. Mm -hmm. He was shocked, like, Edjo. Uh, why they are glad that kill and make you laugh? And I, 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 I am proud of you. I'm inspired. I honestly, by you. I honestly really hope that Blessings. he told. I need to call the pause on this because okay. Okoyemi is here, and I need him to talk about this next okay. situation. Okay, right. we have to get to it very quickly <laughs> because it was specifically picked because of him. You Ooh. have a lot of bless. Uh, Blessies. Oh, Blessies. Yeah, I like, I like, I like lots of Blessies in Nigeria that look to you for food advice. So this next topic is a case of friendship gone awry.
<laughs> English points. Yeah, it's, it's a both. tale of betrayal and deceit. Not talking too much, let's go straight to the video. I would say that everybody should be afraid or very careful of these people that they call besties. You know? Um, you can have a friend that you really trust and I promise you, you don't know that person. Mm -hmm. Somehow, the man that I was supposed to get married to a month after got married to my best friend uh -huh. that was supposed to be my chief bridesmaid. And in a space of three to four months, even after he knows we just lost our kids, I just lost my almost, I just lost my everything. This, my friend, the same girl that was supposed to, in fact, you know when someone is your best friend, you know, mm. when something happens to you, she should be responsible to give a very good answer exactly. of what's going on with you. Instead, this person actually made a way keeping for me. Mm -hmm. She made a way keep in for me. And he was. You're, you're speechless as well? She did a way keep for her while she was alive. I think she was in coma after an accident. So within a month, she had married the her best, she had married this lady's be, uh, husband. They got married. They, the wife, the friend had done a way keep like she has passed. I, I heard you say, ah, uh -uh, please, offer me, I'm listening. I think there's men get, Nigerian men sometimes. I think they are lucky and they buy so low because nobody mentioned the man. Me is the man that me are blaming first. Yeah. If he didn't want to be stolen, yeah. he would not have been yeah. you know? stolen. You can't snatch You cut your best friend with your man and it's your friend. It is yeah. the man. You cut your man with a side chick and it's the girl you are fighting. Fight. It is the man. You have yeah. no business with the side chick. It is the man. If you see your babe with a man, if the man is not harassing her and she's answering him, it's, I don't have any business with the man. Only if it's a rational, exactly. it's, the, it's the babe. So exactly. this conversation, yes, the best friend was bad. But for me, oh, it's the man's whatever. That I mean, ah, your, your babe's best. Of all the women. Of all the women. To yeah. cheat with. Yeah. Nigerian women encourage cheating now. Yeah. Lucky for men, I'm not one of them. You're coming back on a Hot Topic <laughs> special Friday. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. 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 Of, like, Nigerian women, they encourage cheating, but you guys don't know. Mm. Of everybody to cheat with. Leave our best friends sisters and colleagues alone mm. Those three, uh, okay. leave them alone. Like, uh, let me let me let me take you on another i don't encourage you to yeah, yeah, no, we know you don't encourage because bad. that's the first thing you say you close it before you enter what you want to say by the way this is not but uh-huh okay so uh, have we thought of the fact that because nowadays <laughs> like my neighbor who sells fish in the market he says nobody they work out by himself it could be something spiritual that okay. this that okay. decided to because to nowadays apparently yeah. that's a rampant wave it's a movement that is everywhere because why, why do you have the gumption to go ahead and organize a wake keep when your friend is in what people give you that kind of confidence because of the Nigerian kind of man exactly ah, he said because of Nigerian, Nigerian man, man. Is, no is the bar in the floor eh? is the bar in For the me, floor you people encourage it but yes like to be a husband material you need to do the Bare minimum. Bare minimum. I pity women sometimes. I'm not being the same for trying to like mm -hmm. kiss us, but like I'm like. Places is lost in the sauce. These She's women like... are being cheated because <laughs> to, to be husband material, all you need to do is to just do the bare minimum. Wow. And so, women will be like, oh, he's this. I'm like, yeah. ah, this woman. I agree with him, to be honest. First yeah. of all, I always ask this question when a lady says, oh, this person's wife called to harass, or the wife is saying, who is that lady that is that my husband is cheating? I'm like, are you not seeing the husband that is cheating? Okay, fine. You called the first one he cheated with to harass that one. That one got scared and went. He will not look for another person to cheat. You will not be calling them intercontinentally. Like, it doesn't <laughs> make <laughs> any sense. And then, secondly, I'm going to say this. This is not a very popular opinion, but let's, can we stop trying to force friendships? Yeah. Not everybody mm. has that sisterhood kind of friendship oh. going on. If you don't have it, maybe pray for it, but don't try to force friends. Because I've seen so many people, especially on social media, oh, this person is my, my soul sister, <laughs> my this is my bestie. And then Girl at the fan. end of the day, you will now, <laughs> in less than two weeks, the person is coming to complain about, it. it's not everybody that has that kind of, in fact, if your own best friend as a lady is a guy, just don't try and because this person has soul sisters. Oh, we travel together, girls we night out, and it's not necessary. I think we do too much. I think we're going to bring up this conversation again because yeah. I think we, we talked about it once, especially about yeah. making friends as we get older. It's mm -hmm. so, yeah. difficult. It so difficult, but I have a hierarchy. You know, you have to move from yeah, level to level, level, yeah. to level yeah. and prove yourself. They are friendship for different reasons. Like I have travel friends, mm -hmm. and like when we're traveling, we're good, but. 
outside traveling, we're still good, but like this friend is a friend for traveling. Yeah. I have they, my restaurant friends, yeah. I have my calling friends when I was, so, so it's like, don't give them all, all the responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. So this person is a travel person. When I'm going to party, I have my party friends. Yes, exactly. You should be able to depend. They will because, out of the studio. So I'm sorry, I just want to quickly say this. Like, <laughs> I attended a wedding. I, I've seen this person. I know this person online. We've never seen before face to face. And we do the same thing. So we usually ask, oh, well done. Go girl and all that. And then I attended a wedding where the person was. And I saw her from afar. And I was coming, I was calling her name, and she was like, oh, go back, go back. And she took her phone. Oh, my God. And she was like, oh, my soul sister, oh. my sister. Oh. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, hey. on that note, we want you to stay vigilant. Oh, God. Ah. So they go. We, are, we, are ah. we want you to stay vigilant, stay fresh, and stay sharp. And you do all of that by joining us at 10 a.m. Monday through Friday right here on Jassiri. We're out of here before I go and say the wrong Please, thing. Please, don't keep your besties too close. Bye. 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 Bye.